A failing dam has created a new crisis in hurricane ravaged Puerto Rico. A 90 year old dam is being pushed to the breaking point by floodwaters from Hurricane Maria. Tens of thousands who live downstream are now scrambling to get to higher ground. David Begno is in the capital, San Juan. Puerto Rico's governor says it's extremely difficult right now to get information out of Oaxaca, that city in the western part of the island where we're told a dam is in the process of failing. It was Friday when the National Weather Service first warned that the dam might fail and that 70,000 people may need to be evacuated. Buses were brought in to transport those people out. The governor of the island went to Oaxaca with satellite phones so that he could keep in contact with emergency officials. But as of Saturday morning, the governor's spokesperson says they can't reach those officials. Here's the latest from the governor's office. The death count here on the island is nine, but they expect that to go higher. More diesel is being brought in to hospitals on the island that are running low on fuel. The problem is getting that diesel to those hospitals. The governor's office says two police officers may have been killed on the western part of the island after they were swept away in flood water. We spoke with FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which is on the ground here in Puerto Rico. They're telling us they're bringing in one million liters of water, as well as food, medicine, and 31 high-capacity generators. You may have heard from family members that commercial flights were resuming here on the island, and that is true. However, it's extremely difficult to actually get a flight right now. Most people are saying their flights are being canceled. The good news is most of the planes that are getting into the island are military planes that have relief aid. The power is still out here, and that means for just about everyone, there's no water. Rena. David Begno, thank you, David.